Hi everybody, this is Jesse, and today I'm going to show you copy timing script. Uh, this script is going to help cleaning your keys and organize the timeline. Here we have four objects with uh, different keys and different frames, and when we select everything, we have basically uh, one frame, one keyframe every frame. So it can be a bit overwhelming, especially when you start animation. So let's try to fix that. So for this script to work, we have two selections to do. The master, let's say sphere, and the child. It can be one child or as many children as you want. So let's say every of objects here, and then you go on copy timing script here. And you can see on the timeline uh, that the script set the keys on the children at the same timing as the master. So even the Picon that didn't have anything has some keys now. Same time as. So let's jump in the graph editor to see what happened. So here I have the uh, curves of the uh, two objects selected before uh, applying the script. When I apply the script, you can see that the blue keyframes moved to match the, the keyframes on the green. Okay. Uh, the values are going to be changed a bit. Uh, the script is copy timing and not copy values, so you're gonna you're gonna see a curve change, but it's gonna try to keep as close as possible as what you had. Uh, also, I'd like to mention that the script is working on selected curves. So, for example, I delete all of this. Uh, the green one is the master, so I select it first and then select the child red one and copy timing and you can see it's gonna put keys at the same time as we can if I move this and do it again we can remove frames. Um, the script is gonna work on the uh, current timeline that you have and let's jump into another example now. So here we have a wall head turn uh, really really basic but somehow I managed to get a pop in there and uh, when I want to try to find the problem it's really complicated because uh, I have just three controllers but I like, a lot of keys everywhere and really a lot of unnecessary keys uh, so let's try to clean this with uh, copy, copy time so uh, let's say my master is going to be my chest here uh, then I select the children and click on copy time and you can see that the head turn is way smoother now. So it's a good way to uh, uh, clean pops. Let's see what happened in the graph editor now. Uh, I go back to where I was before and when I apply copy timing script, you can see that it cleaned the timeline. So it's a good, uh, good way to continue animation with a clean uh, base. And then you can add the offset and everything you want, but at least you have a, a clean and fresh face. You can see the curve changed, but uh, not as much. So it's good. That's it for me. Thank you.